great. So I'm walking along and before I have to block my dog and stop it, I want to practice it. I want to throw the foot down closest to the dog and just block it and ask for a sit. And that will just allow people to walk behind me. I don't want her butt hanging out and her feeling like a sitting duck. I just want her to understand that if I stand in front of you, you need to sit. So I do 10 steps. Let's go. And then I stop and ask her to sit. I want her to get good at this because if I see something I don't like and I don't have space to get away, I'm going to just block her and she needs to be okay with it and I'm going to be good at it. And what it looks like is you're just slamming the door. Let's go. I plant my foot, I step in front of her and ask her for a sit. And if she can get good at that, a lot of things can go behind me. Now when I have my back facing something, she knows I'm not upset about it. I'm facing her, her focus is on me, I'm visually kind of blocking her, I can physically block her. But the biggest thing is I'm saying to her, I don't have an issue with that. That's not scary. I have an issue with you. Whereas if I'm standing here and pulling her back, I have an issue with the same thing you're looking at. I'm mad about it and I'm deferring on you. I'm getting mad at you because I'm mad about that thing. I feel threatened too. But when my body language says the thing behind me doesn't scare me, quite obviously it's about me and you. Plus it visually blocks her and it gets the pressure off the leash because I can physically block her. And I can feed her as the thing goes by and just say, never mind, never mind. Great. Video number four.